Hey everybody, J Doug here. Uh, I'm out of the new spot, and I uh, came out here yesterday and tried to bring my GPX, and uh, the electric fence just wouldn't let me noise cancel it out. So I ended up using the V3i and found a little uh, flat button over there in that dark spot area over there, and then I uh, came back today with the CTX 3030, and uh, just got my first bullet on this new spot. The uh, landowner was telling me that, you know, she dug up, found bullets in her driveway, and the farmhand was telling me he dug up a couple uh, digging post holes. So, it might be the start of something good. I'll keep you informed. J Doug, signing off. Just got my second target out of the hole. And it looks like we got us a sleigh bell. This is my third sleigh bell. Looks like it might still have the bell inside of it. The hooks broke off. My first one was huge. This would actually fit inside of it. And my second one is complete. So, this is a nice little find. Ringing out like crazy. Alright. J Doug signing off. Yeah, I just got uh, another target here. I don't know. Uh, this looks like a modern button. Looks like in the back, but. I figured I'd record it just in case. It looks like it has something on the front. Okay. Right. It's been probably an hour or so since I found that bell. And probably 15 minutes before that I found that bullet. So, I don't know. It's got something on it. But I'll keep on looking. J Doug said, I don't know. Hey everybody, uh, I guess it's been a, about 15 minutes since my last find and I just pulled out a nice flower button. Still got the shank on the back, nice and heavy, it's thick. One of my better flat buttons. If you're going to do a flat button, it might as well be thick and nice. It's pretty sharp. I like it. Alright, J Doug signing up. Alright, it's been about I don't know, five minutes and uh, just kind of working along this flat ridge right here. Yeah, the road's right there. But I'm thinking this might be some kind of homestead or something. I don't know. It doesn't show up on the map. And you never know. Not everybody took the census, you know what I mean? So here's my next find. Right in the top of the plug. A little round ball. Uh, it looks like it might be some dents in there from like a buckyball or something. Uh, I don't know. Alright, j Doug signing off. Alright everybody, I wanted you to hear this, the chatter that I'm getting in this thing. I had the sensitivity set at 22 on the CTX 3030. And uh, it's just chattering. I don't have it in all metal mode. Here's all metal mode. Just... Just all kind of iron in there. It's even worse up in that flat up there. But uh, I just go go along and look for a repeatable signal. Uh oh, there we go. Eleven. 25 back on iron reject 1126 3 inches alright I'm gonna dig it and I'll show you what I come up with alright I pulled the plug out and it's in the plug somewhere right in the center how about that Probably shotgun shell, but we'll see what happens. Not that deep. It's round. Looks like a small shotgun shell, like a 410. Yep, that's what it is. Alright, well, I'm done for the day. My uh, battery's dying on my metal detector. I got uh, just the eight double A's in there today instead of my regular battery pack so 
Now I know how long it lasts in a pinch, so give it a shot. But gotta go to work. J Doug signing off. Thanks for watching. Hey, I just wanted to show you guys something and check this out. I got a really good signal out of this hole. It's down there pretty deep. In the center of it is that rock. And uh, the rock doesn't do anything. Now the ground. Nothing over the hole. But then if I take the rock and drop it down in the hole like that. And then go over it. Check that out. A little anomaly. Great signal. And the rest of this area is just trashy. You just gotta go slow and weed through it. And I was weeding through it. <coughs> Thought I'd found something good, but not always what it's cracked up to be. A little bit of digging for nothing. Interesting though. I know not to dig any more targets that say 150 on the VDI reading. So anyway, there it is. One in fifty. One in fifty, uh I know it changed. One in fifty. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> J Dogs, I don't know. Hey everybody. Uh back at that same spot again and just dug up another target. I thought it was a button front and that there was a back still in there. But then I got along and went a little bit further and got this piece out of there. There's a long stem on it or something. It's probably gonna just junk and fall apart. Doesn't look that good. But I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess we'll figure it out later. But yeah, I'm back at that same spot, still working that flat. And it's all kinds of iron in here, and I'm just going along with the CTX. Kind of just advancing that front two inches of the coal a little bit at a time, see if I can weed through that iron a little bit. And got me a target. Just dug up that rock a little while ago, <laughs> and uh, that thing was a beast to get out of the ground. But my first official find for the day. J Doug signing off. Everybody, here's what I'm looking for. You can hear it kind of jumping out around a little bit. And that's what the iron reject off. Here's what the iron reject. Oh, that was with the iron reject on. Listen to all that iron in the hole. So then, I got a good target here. Let me go back and put iron back there. But I got a 11.45 at 2 inches. But it's in the middle of And this whole area is covered with iron. I'm going to have to come back with a smaller cool and really go over this and, and try to weed out some of them smaller good targets in between all this iron. But uh, I'm going to dig this up and I'll show you what I find. Alright. Got the plug out of the hole. With the CTX. And I got a target right here in the bottom of the plug. Looks like it's just going to be a tag or maybe some kind of heist household item. Oh, it's got some design on it. That's a pretty neat design. Trying to hold it up in the sunlight. That's pretty cool. I don't see. This might be an attachment for a drawer or something. But it's old. And if it's old, I like it. Pretty cool. Got a nice green patina on it. Alright. And the second target of the day. Well, I don't know, five or ten minutes ago from the last target. That's cool. I went over to the uh, other side one day. Over there, there's a there's a house in this other field over here on the other side of the driveway that has uh, 
supposedly had a house burned down 50 years ago. Well, I went over there, and, you know, I found a few a, a few things, but, you know, a couple flat buttons and some nods and ends, a little construction tag, a, a nice old uh, underwear button, and uh, but the targets weren't too crazy, and it and, uh, wasn't a lot of iron. Like, this is either an old dump or the house was over here and the, these people moved in 50 years ago and the house was already burned down and you know how sometimes stories get changed anyway i'm gonna keep on going and i'll let you know if i find anything j dog i don't know there's my next target it's a 1919 weedy that's pretty deep in the hole that's down there good i don't know Not two inches shy of being the length of that pinpointer. In pretty good shape, except for that huge scratch I put across the back side of it. Eh, mm -hmm. Is what it is, I guess. Alright. Heather, that's been my first find in about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. So I'm going to keep at it and see if I can't come up with some silver or some more Civil War stuff. But, J Ducks, I don't know. Hey everybody, I just dug another target, and it turns out to be a little rivet on both sides. It's still got a little piece of leather in there, and uh, going along pretty good. Just uh, dug a couple shotgun shells, and uh, still keeping at it, working this flat. That half is done, right there at the edge of that hill to here, and I'm working my way that way. So, got a little ways to go. As slow as I'm going, I might be able to finish out the day in this spot and still come back with a smaller pool. That uh, noise you hear in the background is, of course, the electric fence, which is tolerable for me, I guess. Yeah. With this CTX, with the GPX, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> and it just uh, thing goes crazy, no matter what I do. So, I'm going to keep on keeping on. j Doug signing off. I got my next target. I was uh, just pulled the plug out and swept the wand uh, power point around a little bit and uh, kicked this loose. Nice cream patina on it. Don't know what period it is, but it looks old. Another find in the bag. I'm liking it. I got it one piece at a time. And it kind of cost me a dime. <laughs> anyway, j Dugs, I don't know. Alright, so... I was just dug this hole up and I got a pretty strong signal, but it was spread out real far. Like I had a hole, I got a hole here. And then, yep, I was getting a signal over there in between the pin pointer and the thing. Well, I got this out and I, was, and I kept getting a signal with the pin pointer down here in this corner. It looks like a shotgun shell. Well, you pull it out and I'll be darned if it don't look like a scabbard tip. Got the holes in the top. On both sides to hold it into the leather. Doesn't have the tip on it anymore. But that's a really cool find. That's my second one ever. If that's what it is, that's pretty cool. I'm thinking home, clean it up, and check it out and see what we got. But I'm super stoked. I'm going to dig around a little bit more in this hole make sure I got everything because it might be another piece of this bell in there that's a big bell I found another big bell like this up in Harper's Ferry and uh, it's about the same size that one just had a little crack in probably about the size of this piece missing from it and the rest of it was there that's pretty cool that's even cooler might be on to something <laughs> J Doug signing out all right, folks. Uh, got my next target here. It's a another rivet with some leather in the middle of it. It's down there pretty deep. Uh, wasn't expecting that. It gave me a strong signal, like a bigger target, but not you know, not a high VDI reading. But it's just louder. Uh, uh, we'll check the hole and make sure there's nothing else in there, and uh, we'll get back to you. J. Doug, sound a no. Hey, hey. Got another target here. 
another rivet down the hole there. Uh, came out really loud for what it is, so not much to it. I'm glad to have it. J Doug's out now. Got another target out of the hole. You can see that green patina right there. That is actually the dirt clod where the button was. You can see. No more. Down that hole. Let's say about six inches. Nice old flat button. Looks like the shank might be bent over and still on there. Can't tell if it's got anything on the back of it, but I'll clean it up later and see what she looks like. And I'm digging it. Be nice if I could dig up something. Nice two piece or something. I'll take that scabber tip from earlier. <laughs> And I'll take this. I'm uh, going to keep on keeping on. And uh, J Duck signing up. Alright, folks, I just got another target. I had a iffy signal because I had a nail and a coin right next to each other. The coin looks to be an Indian head. I'm going to put some of that digger special sauce on there and see if I can clean it up. You folks don't try this at home. Yeah, we got an Indian head. I don't know if I can see a date on there, but of course I don't have my glasses on. It looks like the date is going to be readable. Pretty good shape on that side. Beer sauce. And back side. Looks like it might have a dent in it or something, I don't know. Yeah, there it is, in there with that nail. They were both kind of in the sidewall right there. This little hole right here. All right. Get that square nail out of there. And I'll check the hole, make sure there's nothing else in there, but that's a pretty cool find. I don't know. It looks like 1900s, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll take a picture of it and macro later. And uh, I'll let you know what it is. J Dogs, I don't know. Well, it's a beautiful day out, and I'm down to a t shirt. <laughs> Loving it. But uh, I gotta get out of here. I just wanted to show you guys some of the iron that I'm dealing with in this knoll right here, in this field. I dug a lot of these. I mean, you're gonna dig this one because it's such a solid target all the time. Of course, that one. This one, this halo effect. Some of these other ones, they just give you an iffy signal like there might be some iron in there with something else, like it's hiding something. Most of the time it's just iron, but I like to dig in. Every once in a while I'll get a surprise. I got a nice uh, H insignia and uh, two eagle buttons from digging a railroad tie once, so you never know. But uh, that's like my cool find of the day. I'm pretty sure that's a scabbard tip. I could be totally wrong, but and this cool little bell, this cool little thing, one wheat penny, one Indian head, flat button. I thought I had another flat button in here somewhere. A piece of copper pipe, two rivets, and that little buckle. Uh, it's a decent day, but I gotta go home and uh, get ready for my flight tomorrow. Going down to South Carolina to do some relic hunting. So. Uh, it's BJ Dog signing off. Until next time, happy hunting. Okay, I'm Mr. J Dog, and I'm back at my spot here. That uh, I've been working for a while. I was uh, trying to go to where the uh, farmhand said he found some uh, bullets. He found a pistol bullet and a uh, three ringer in one hole digging post holes and I was working my way that way not in a normal trashy area where I've been finding all the other stuff and found this little button right on alright it's been about 10 minutes and I just got another Indian head can't see the date on there but it's a lot better shape than the last one I'm pretty sure that I'm going to a home site here I'm still working that flat up top here, and I'm just iron everywhere, 
And these Indian head pennies, this might be the fourth or fifth one I've got out of here. So, could be some silver. J Doug signing. Yeah, I guess it's been about 15-20 uh, minutes, and I got me a, looks like a half cent, a little bit older than the Indians. Looks like a, a woman's bust with a little uh, bow in the back of her hair or something. Can't make anything out on the back, but it's a good find. Starting to get a little bit older. <laughs> J-Dog, signing off. J-Dog here with another target. Got a little brass in my hand, a little broke rivet. First piece of brass today. I got one little button, one little flat button so far, and this, and then the rest have been Indian heads, half cent, large cent, one bullet, and uh, you never know what might be in this place. <laughs> it's just never yeah, it's been a while, maybe 20 minutes. I just got a piece of camp lead, I guess. Could be carved. Has some notches and stuff on the side of it. It's heavy. Got some patina on it. Well, things are slowing down a little bit. I'm starting to get out of that flat a little bit and starting to get off on the edge. I'm going to keep going for a while. Ravens don't start until 630, so i got plenty of time. <laughs> you know, I know. All right, been about five minutes and i got another target. Got another Indian head. Looks like a 19 -0.